Today I'm making a delicious ground beef and potato casserole baked in the oven. This is gonna be good. So today seemed like a good day for her casserole. I had one pound of lean ground beef. I was trying to figure out what to do with it. So I had two pounds of potatoes. I have an onion, some fresh cloves of garlic. I'm gonna prep all of my ingredients and we're going to get started by making this casserole. Okay, so to cut the potatoes, I'm just going to cut them into rounds, around a quarter of an inch thick, as evenly as possible. Also, um, when I peeled it, I kind of left one surface flat, and this will help keep a stable potato when you go to slice it. Okay, so my potatoes are cut, going into cold water. I'm gonna turn on the heat. I'm just going to add a little bit of chicken bouillon powder to give the potatoes some flavor. You don't have to do that. Like I said, salt works just fine. And once that comes up to boil, I'm gonna let it go for maybe a minute. So I'm gonna shut off the heat. It started boiling, it's been a minute. So I'm going to remove these potatoes and run them under cold water to stop the cooking process because as they cook while they're hot, they will get mushy. They'll continue cooking. Okay, now to work on the ground beef mixture. Here I have a cold pan. I'm going to add my one pound. I'm going to turn on the heat. I'm going to add some salt, maybe a quarter teaspoon, cracked black pepper. Now I'm just gonna break apart and start cooking my ground beef. While the beef is browning, I just wanna go over some of the ingredients I'm using. And the ratios are really up to you, um, but I will be adding some dried parsley, some dried chives. Here I have a little bit of smoked paprika, garlic powder, onion powder. I'm gonna add some seasoning salt. I really didn't add a lot of salt to the ground beef just yet. So instead of just adding more salt, I'm gonna add some seasoned salt. You could also add some beef bouillon into the mix if you've got that. I like doing that sometimes. Here I have one small onion diced, half of a small bell pepper diced. I have around three to four cloves of garlic that I minced, and I'll be using two cups of low sodium beef broth. Um, I'm also gonna add salt and pepper to taste towards the end, um, and I suggest Give your uh, dishes a taste when you're cooking for salt or seasoning because that is personal, it's to your preference. So anyways, back to the beef. Okay, so the ground beef has a head start and I am going to add some onion, the onion that I chopped and saute that really well and the bell pepper. I'm actually gonna start adding my dried spices and seasonings. So going in with my garlic powder, like a half teaspoon to a teaspoon, it's up to you. My onion powder, my seasoned salt, a little bit of smoked paprika, some dried chives, maybe a tablespoon dried parsley teaspoon works I'm gonna go ahead and add my garlic and just continue to saute and brown everything well so my ground beef is cooked well everything's sauteed I'm going to create a space in the center in the center here of the pan and I'm just gonna turn it down just a little bit. I had it on the highest setting. Now I have it on about a medium heat. And I'm going to add a quarter cup of butter and I'm gonna melt that down. You'll notice this lean ground beef did not yield a lot of fat. So this is why I'm adding the butter. But if you're using a fattier uh, portion of ground beef, then you might wanna skip the butter. 
and just use the pan renderings, the, the fat that rendered from the beef. I'm going in with some uh, all-purpose flour. It's about five tablespoons. And I'm just going to combine with the ground beef very well and cook this mixture for about a minute. Now I'm going to add two cups of low sodium beef broth. Going in with my next cup, that's two cups. I'm going to bring this to a simmer and let it thicken. So this has thickened quite nicely. Now this is optional. I'm going to add kitchen bouquet. Uh, not that much, let me try half of this. Just a little bit. Like I said, it's optional. This is just to give it a little bit of you know seasoning and flavor. It gives it a, a good color, but it, it's optional. It's not necessary. I'm going to just add whatever was left on the spoon. And this is done. I'm gonna taste it for salt, seasoning, pepper, and set aside until I'm ready to use it. Okay, now I'm going to make a bechamel sauce or a creamy white sauce. So here in my small pot, I'm going to add four tablespoons of unsalted butter. Just gonna start melting that down. Now that it's melted, I'm going to add all-purpose flour. Over a low heat, I'm just going to combine and cook the flour for a minute. You just wanna make sure you combine well and remove any lumps. I'm going to add room temperature to cool milk. This is two cups going in little by little. I really want the sauce to be kind of thick and creamy, so I'm just going to mix little by little, let it simmer, thicken, and add more milk. This is going to take a while. And I'm still working with a low heat setting. Okay, so now I've added all two cups of milk. I want this to come to a gentle simmer. I'm gonna add just a pinch of salt, like an eighth of a teaspoon, and I'm just gonna continually stir and let this come to a gentle simmer, and it'll thicken. I want it to be thickened a little bit more. The heat is off. My sauce, my cream sauce has thickened, so I'm gonna add just a little bit of freshly grated nutmeg. Give it a stir, and this is done. So let's build this casserole. I've already taken about two to three tablespoons of butter. So I'm going to layer all of my potatoes at the bottom, just in a single layer as best as I can. They might pile on top of each other. Now I'm going to season with some seasoning salt just a pinch all around, just to kind of season the layer. I'm gonna go in with that smoked paprika, cracked black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, I'm going to add some shredded cheddar cheese. And for the whole recipe, I'm using eight ounces of shredded cheddar cheese. Just gonna add a little, well, half of it. I'll add half to the bottom layer here. Next, I'm going in with my ground beef mixture here. All on the top of the potatoes. You're gonna spread that into an even layer. Now I'm going in with my bechamel sauce all on top of the ground beef. This smells amazing. I'm gonna go in with the rest of the cheddar cheese. Now I'm going to put this in a preheated oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit, uncovered for about 35 to 40 minutes or until everything is bubbling and browned on top.
hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching!